चलो सर लेट अस स्टार्ट द क्लास बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द क्लास आई बिलीव दैट यू रिमेंबर दीज थिंग्स जस्ट ए स्मॉल रीकैप आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू पीपल अटेंडेड माय यस्टरडेज क्लास इफ यू आर नॉट अटेंडेड माय यस्टरडेज क्लास आई थिंक दैट इज डेफिनेटली योर प्रॉब्लम आई कैन नॉट डू एनीथिंग फॉर इट सो आई एम जस्ट रीकैपिंग फॉर वन मिनट what we have discussed in yesterday's class suppose cost price is 80 rupees i want to sell this pen for you but i will remove the old sticker of 80 rupees i don't want it to be 80 i will mark it as 100 rupees whatever the price which i am removing as the old sticker and putting my new value in my example as 100 rupees that kind of price is called as marked price or list price that kind of price is called as market price or list price that means i purchased the pen for 80 rupees in a different shop i marked it as 100 rupees and gave it to you i am having 20 rupees profit that kind of profit is called as markup in this example markup is 20 rupees but you did not like me giving you the pen as 100 rupees you asked for a discount assume that you asked for 10 percentage discount 10 percentage of 100 rupees is 10 rupees that means i agreed to give you 10 rupees discount if i give you 10 rupees discount on 100 rupees i will sell the product at 90 100 minus 10 90 rupees now if i take this same scenario i explained you everything in detail in yesterday's class this 20 is nothing but 100 minus 80 20 is nothing but 100 minus 80 20 is nothing but markup 100 is nothing but market price 80 is nothing but cost price markup is nothing but market price minus cost price markup always come between two parameters which is nothing but market price and cost price if i want to express markup in terms of percentage if it is profit percentage numerator is profit if it is markup percentage numerator is markup denominator is always the initial value cost price is the initial thing that is coming write down that in the denominator same thing this 10 can be written as 100 minus 90 100 minus 90 is 10 10 is nothing but discount 100 is nothing but market price 90 is nothing but selling price your discount in terms of percentage is if it is profit percentage numerator is profit if it is discount percentage numerator is discount denominator is always the initial value out of market price and selling price which is the first thing that is happening first thing that is happening is market price put it in the denominator into 100 percentage these are some of the terminologies which you definitely need to know i told you very clearly that cost price market price and selling price between cost price and market price markup will come between cost price and selling price market price markup will come between market price and selling price disc sorry disc between market price sorry cost price and market price markup will come between market price and selling price discount will come in simple language to easier way to remember i can say that markup is nothing but market price minus cost price discount is nothing but market price minus selling price that is what i wrote here with an example for you to understand it better if you remember this scenario easily you will understand this problem solving very easily there is no need of by halting any of these formulas which is not required for you people i hope this scenario is very very clear which i explained in yesterday's class which i also explained in my first class of profit loss and discount i think four or five days before now this is something which you need to know to solve our problems on this terminology is called as markup market price cost price discount and other things but having said that yesterday we discussed a good number of problems in this yesterday we discussed a good number of problems in this i am continuing with the problems right now in this particular topic i am continuing with the problems right now in this particular topic everyone keep listening to it carefully sir there are few things which are very very easily solved if you keep listening to all the 
class is what I take continuously. If you miss out any one class and if you have that discontinuity, definitely it will be difficult for you to understand. There is a note, second thought about it also. Definitely it will be difficult if you miss out any one of my class because whatever I teach you is through concepts, not through by hearting formulas. Now see here. Now please see this question. Your question is, a shopkeeper gives 15 percentage discount on the marked price. That means a shopkeeper is giving 15 percentage discount on the marked price. That is the first statement. And gives three articles free. He is also giving three articles free for buying every 14 articles. That means if the person is buying 14 articles, he is giving 3 articles absolutely free. Right? That is what they are saying. And it is also given that. And thus he gains 26%. Because of this, he is also gaining 26%. Find the ratio of MP to CP. Find the ratio of MP to CP is the question. Now see here. Let us analyze this problem very, very carefully and then solve this question. Now, what is that they are saying? He is gaining 26% is what they are saying. Profit percentage is 26%. 26% is nothing but 26 by 100. The meaning of 26 by 100 is... The meaning of 26 by 100 is... Now, everyone listen carefully. The meaning of 26 by 100 is... If the cost price is 100 rupees, if the cost price is 100 rupees, profit is 26 rupees. That means he is selling for 126 rupees, right? He is selling for 126 rupees. But everyone please understand here, sir. What is that they are saying? They are saying that a shopkeeper gives 15 percentage discount on the market price. On the market price, he is giving 16 percent, 15 percentage discount. A shopkeeper is giving 15 percentage discount on the market price and gives three articles free for buying every 14 articles. That means if a person is buying 14 articles, if a person is buying 14 articles, then he is getting three articles absolutely free. Now, one thing which is missing in this question, which has to be there, which by mistake it is missing in this question, the cost price is given in this question as 1700, sir. Right? It is given in this question, but unfortunately in the statement it is missing. Please add that cost price also in your question so that it is a valid question. Right? That means, now, cost price is 100 according to the assumption. But according to question, cost price is 1700. 100 is becoming 1700. It is multiplied by 17. 126 also multiplied by 17. It is 126 into 17. It is 2142. Now, what is this 2142? 2142 is the selling price of selling price is the the selling price value is the 2142 that means can i say that a shopkeeper gives 15 percentage discount on the market price and gives three articles free he is just giving three articles just like that free of cost for buying every 14 articles that means if i purchase 14 articles for 2142 rupees 14 articles is costing me 2142 rupees 14 articles is costing me 2142 rupees 17 articles so sorry one article will cost 2142 divided by 14 which is 153 now another way of finding the cost price as 1700 is how can you find the cost price as 1700 in simple language i can say that I want to give you three articles free of cost for every 14 articles that you are purchasing. That means 14 articles you purchased from me and I am giving you three articles free. That means totally I am giving you 17 articles. But 17 articles I am giving you. That 17 articles I should have purchased somewhere. For one article if I pay 100 rupees. For 17 articles I would have paid 1700 rupees. That means even whether this is given in the question or not given in the question. You can find that value very very easily. Right? You can find that value very very easily. That is what I am saying Shushil. There are two ways of looking at it. Before you said itself I am trying to say the same statement. There are two ways of saying that 
one is in the question it should have been given even if it is not given in the question also sometimes still you do not you do there is no need for you to think that how can i find the cost price because 17 articles is what i am giving you people so when i am giving you 17 articles one article 100 rupees 17 articles it is 1700 right i believe that it is clear that means selling price of one article is 153 rupees selling price of one article is 153 rupees now see here sir can i say that cost price is known as 100 rupees selling price is known as 153 rupees i want to find the market price i want to find the market price yesterday i taught you this beautiful way of finding there is no need for you to understand something which is not required what is that they are saying again there is a directly that is something which you can write it. Discount percentage is given as 15%. 15% is 15 by 100. It is 3 by 20. That means discount decreases by 3 by 20. Selling price should increase by 3 by 17. Sir, so how it is 3 by 17? I taught you in my yesterday's class. Numerator is 3. Do not change the numerator. Copy paste the same numerator. If it is decrease, subtract these two. 20 minus 3 is 17. That means initially selling price is 153 from 153 there is an increase of 3 out of 17 17 into 1 17 into 9 9 into 3 is 27 that means increase the selling price by 27 so that you will get the market price 153 plus 27 is 180 question says find the ratio of mp is to cp mp value is 180 cp value is 100 your answer is 18 is to 10 or it is 9 is to 5 easy way of solving the question i hope the idea is very very clear for you people Sushil Kumar, I believe it is clear better. I initially said that you need to have this data. Then I also said a statement, whatever you are saying, also saying that you without having the data given in the question also, you can still find it. That is what I am trying to explain you here. Now, Raj Shekhar, free means, see here Raj Shekhar, I will explain you. Suppose for example, I told you that I told you that for every 14 articles that you purchase, I will give you 3 articles free. That means, I will give you 3 articles free. That means, can I say that, I am totally giving you 17 articles. I am totally giving you 17 articles. For this 17 articles, I paid in a shop. For me, cost price is for 17 articles. But out of 17, 3 are free for you. That means I am charging you only for 14 articles. Cost price of 17 articles is 1700. Selling price of 14 articles is 2142. From here you can solve it better. Rat shaker, I believe it is clear. Free items are also considered. Free items are not free for me. I took it in a different shop paying the money there, right? For you I am giving you free, that's all. Shailand, I think this if you are not clear, you will struggle a lot. This is something which I took it in my yesterday's class. One last time I am repeating. This is something which I will keep repeating to you people. If you do not have the continuity for my classes, please do not assume that you will learn beautiful shortcuts. You will end up with a traditional way of problem solving. This is something I discussed yesterday. And please do not ask me to keep revisiting yesterday's classes again and again for your benefits. I cannot do it every time. One last time I am doing. Discount means it is decrease. It is given as a 3 by 20. If the discount is 3 by 20, decrease. So selling price should increase to become the market price. That means how much it will increase by whatever numerator you have. Copy paste the same numerator. So 3 is becoming 3 itself. Initially if the question consists of decrease, subtract these two. 20 minus 3 is 17. So I wrote it as 3 by 17. Selling price initially is 153. From 153, there is an increase of 3 by 17. 3 by 17 into 153 is 27. That means from 153, 27 increase. Answer is 180. Market price value is 180.